Hello dear friends, it's time for an anecdote I found in the papers of the great American humorist S.J. Perelman, who was um, the uh, experimental novelist Nathaniel West's brother-in-law. Um, uh, he traveled around the world several times, S.J. Perelman, and uh, one of his stories uh, he must have heard from an Englishman uh, who was learning Indonesian, locally known as Bahasa Indonesia, in Jogja, the cultural center of Java. And uh, it goes like this. An Englishman was taking a language course and uh, it was only like a fortnight into the course. After two weeks he managed to count from one up to ten, but certainly not eleven or twelve, <laughs> and um, the colors, days of the week, and so on. So we're still a beginner. Um, uh, one day he walked past a tropical bird, uh, the uh, Javanese Mina mountain bird, locally known as Beel, spelled B-E-O. And uh, this bird can imitate uh, human voices, uh, bits of songs, all kinds of sounds, sirens, passing ambulances and so on. And uh, when he's walking past this bird, the uh, bill looked down and uh, said something in Javanese, which is the vernacular, you know, the language that the, the Englishman could not possibly understand. He said, Londo elek, Londo elek, uh, which means ugly foreigner. Now, the Englishman went up to his teacher and said, uh, this bird just, you know, called me something and uh, I couldn't understand. You, could, could you translate for me into English or Indonesian, simple Indonesian? And the teacher blushed. Uh, and, uh, tactfully mistranslated the phrase Londo Elek, which means ugly foreigner, into handsome foreigner. Now, of course, the Englishman was uh, pleased to hear that, and he said, well, I'm impressed with that bird. I mean, uh, could I buy it? How much would you charge for it? Like uh, maybe $100, $200? or English pounds at the time. And uh, so the teacher said, well, you can have it. It's a very special bird. It's been with us for, for many years. And uh, But if you insist, um, you can have it for $500, and, uh, provided you take good care of it. And uh, it's a funny bird. It's Javanese, but it's it likes, it's, it's very fond of English chocolate, especially Cadbury's. So if you give him, you know, half a bar of Cadbury's every two days or so, he'll be happy. And uh, so here you go. Now the Englishman thought, okay, $500 is a lot of money, but uh, this is a unique bird, and at least it'll call me handsome foreigner every day. So after the course, after he'd finished everything, he took the Javanese mountain miner back to Britain, uh, back to uh, Bournemouth, a place like that, and uh, the bird kept quiet for, for days and days, week after week went by and didn't say a single word, so the, uh, the Englishman kind of uh, reprimanded the bird and said, you bail. Why didn't you talk to me? Why didn't you call me Londo Elec anymore? Uh, I bought you for $500. I'll give you Cadbury's chocolate every other day. So what's the deal? What's going on? And the uh, bail said, Londo Elec means ugly foreigner. And indeed you are. And uh, I want my Cadbury's every day. Also, you never bought me a shawl or anything to, to kind of uh, protect me against this horrible climate. It's raining every day, and uh, I want to go home.
So the Englishman let him out of the cage and he flew back all the way to Java. That's all for today. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed my story. Bye-bye.